Mike Mike Mike's Daily Podcast. Hello, I am your host. My name is Mike Matthews. And that is a sound that I make that says that I am right. You've got to be kidding me. No, I'm sort of right today, aren't I? Because it's Monday and I've had a crazy day already and I don't need you to mouth off at me, young man. Uh, today, here at Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Mont. Mike's Daily Podcast. We're going to hear from the disgruntled fiddle player, Benita, and the brewmaster, if you want. Mike's Daily Podcast. And I'm going to sing you a song right now that I made up. Yeah, I'm kind of like the Wayne Brady and stuff. But I wanted to talk about something that is going up, and that's gas prices, my friend. What's up? That's nuts. I don't like the gas prices going up, and I don't like the gas stations. Mike's Daily Podcast. Being closed. They have the cheap gas. The one near my house, for example. Mike's Poor Ahemplo. Daily Ahemplay. Podcast. It's like on my way yeah. to work. It works perfect because when I get up at four and I drive to work, it's right there. I can pull off to the side, get my gas and go. And there's no one there because if I try and get the gas later in the day, like let's say nine, eight, something like that, everybody's in line. Everybody's there because they want the cheap gas. And I go to get the cheap gas and what? It's crazy. All the pumps got the plastic bags around the pumps. Saying to me, Mike, you can't have gas. Well, I do have gas because I had a little bit of milk and I'm lactose intolerant. And anyway, so I have to drive across town, po- across Podcast Valley to the other cheap gas place and get my gas. Nobody was there. That was awesome. But gas prices are high. They're getting crazy high because we freaking all the financial people are like, oh no, gas prices are too low. We're making too much gas because of the, the fracking. And we went and we fracked and we got a bunch of gas out of the ground. Now uh, we got cheap gas and we can't have cheap gas. No, wasn't that the whole point to get cheap gas? So OPEC made a deal with everybody, look who just walked in, and now prices are shooting up. And the financial people are all happy again. Idiots. Look who walked in. Hi, Mike. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. Hi, how you doing? It's a disgruntled fiddle player, tell you what. What? What I was just saying to Benita the Rodeo Queen's horse, Nilly, <laughs> is that. I am appalled by what Melissa Etheridge Street said at the Golden Globe Awards last night. You mean Meryl Street? Whatever. And she was talking bad about Trump. Look, Trump was not my first pick. Well, he's a Republican, and I want him to be a good Republican president. And how are we going to have that if some big know-it-all like Meryl Streep is behind the podium? Wait, I'm still talking. Don't just walk in right out of talking. Um, well, someone else just walked in. Oh, no, but I still have the floor. Well, then continue. And Meryl Streep went on about Trump and said that Trump hates handicapped people. Uh, that's just that he he loves everybody all the little children of the world children are scary they can be scary they're unruly sometimes they do whatever they want and if they took over the world well they will eventually take over the world but not at that age when they're really young and crazy and don't know and they're all hopped up on the little things in the pouches with the straws are you talking about Sonny D or Capri Sun or something like that? Possibly the scrunnel fiddle player. But look who walked in. Hello, Mike. I make the root beer. I'm the brewmaster. Oh, boy. Have some delicious Sonny D. I uh, root beer. Capri Sun root beer. Oh, boy. Uh, this tastes horrible. Oh! Now we've gotten a little silly. 
But that tends to happen from time to time. I did not like all the rain we had this weekend. It has been just nuts here in Podcaster Valley in the Bay Area. Just so much rain just dumping on us. And Sunday in the morning, we got a bunch of rain. I went down into my basement and there was water. Water in my basement. I was freaking, freaking out. Not that much water, just a little bit. But I'm like, where is it coming from? So I found the spots, then I triangulated to outside above where that where the water probably if it hits the house, if water brushes up against the house, well, it starts to seep down into the basement. So the way they constructed the house back in the 50s, the water is supposed to pull away from the house. And I saw one section that I think maybe where it got breached. And so I fixed that upstairs outside and then, you know, got all the water. Uh, thank you once again, wet vac. And got that all cleared up, but that takes up a bunch of my time that I don't have time to do these things. But you're a homeowner, you have to find the time. And then all was well throughout the day. I was at work yesterday and it rained and rained and rained while I was gone. And I got home and I I have to get to bed early on Sundays because I got to wake up early on Mondays and deal with the gas and all that stuff. And here's today's podcast picture. Oh, come on. I got to have a podcast picture? <sighs> so I was... <laughs> I love doing my podcast. And I love that you love that I do the podcast. Why don't you call in and talk about how much you love listening to the podcast? There's a phone number now. It's 336 336- MM Daily. Find that. I don't know what it, that converts to in numbers, but I'm sure you can just look at your phone and there's the letters there. 336 MM Daily. Give me a call. Tell me what you think of the shoe. That's what we call this, the shoe. And, and how do you like your shoes now that they're all wet because of the rain? I have wet shoes constantly. Here's a little tip. When your shoes get wet, Find your water heater if you own a home. If you're renting whatever, find the water heater, damn it. And put your shoes right by it. Not really, not on top of it, they might catch fire. But next to it, by the time you come back from your busy day, you will have dry shoes. No, it's serious. I'm serious. That's what will happen. What? But. uh, I have lost my train of thought. Thank you. How did that happen? I was just, I was in such a good zone there and I lost it. Oh, the rain, right. And then the rain. So I, uh, I, after I, I wanted to go to bed after my busy day. No, water had leaked into it through another spot. So I had to do the triangulation configuration outside, looking to see where it may have, water may have brushed up against the house. And I found the spot, I think. It's just Now we're supposed to get some more rain tomorrow And in the middle of the week And I'm hoping that it doesn't leak I just don't like water in my basement Figuratively and literally Oh, by the way So Meryl Streep did her Golden Globes thing last night I don't watch the Golden Globes I realized long ago that first off I don't, I don't know what any of those movies are That were up for Golden I don't know any of those TV shows and I usually get around to those movies or TV shows further off in the future. Like I finally watched The Force Awakens over the weekend. I, well, I saw about half of it. And hey, I like the, I like the, I'm glad they used a lot of the Millennium Falcon in the, the Force Awakens because I was one of those nerd kids back in the early 80s that was working on a Millennium Falcon model. And I have this sort of connection to it. And it was great to see Harrison Ford back and uh, Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca and I, I loved that part of it I, I don't know it seemed the whole first half of the movie is all uh, the the new Darth Vader people are killing everybody and killing everyone and oh they're horrible and then finally you see the resistance in Carrie Fisher it was nice to see Carrie Fisher so it was good to see her come back in the Star Wars franchise 
And, you know, before we lost her, we were graced by her presence in that movie, even though they didn't really give her much to do from what I saw. But you know what? I don't. That's my absolutely useless review. Mike's absolutely useless review. But overall, uh, you know what? I, I haven't finished the movie, so I don't know why I'm giving a review of it. But so far. So I haven't seen any of the Golden Globe movies. Meryl Streep apparently took shots at Trump. I heard a talk show host say that the Trump, when Trump was supposedly making fun of that reporter, the, the way that Trump was moving his hands and whatnot, that is how he makes fun of everybody. Sort of giving him... Uh, you know, it was okay that he did what he did. That so, the podcast picture today is of a sunset over the bay that I took in Podcaster Valley at the. Where was this at? Oh, actually, this I'm going to show you. Yeah, let's put the picture up from last Friday when I was walking Basil the Boxer. <laughs> And that you can see that picture now at mikesdailypodcast.com. What I would like to also tell you is that there's also mikesdailypodcast.com that has the wonderful place for the podcast pictures. And I guess what I'm saying is go there and if you're going to buy anything on Amazon, go through that website first, mikesdailypodcast.com. That helps us out. There's also a PayPal. You can help us out that way. And there's past interviews that I've done, past shows, all there. Oh, and also a link to the YouTube page. We can watch the show, the podcast. Well, kind of watch the podcast. If you like, if watching is your thing to do, you can kind of watch the podcast. See what I mean at mikesdailypodcast.com. And there's also our phone number there, 336-MM-DAILY, and a link to the phone if you are too lazy to remember that, there's a phone number there. You can call the show. And we play back your comments and not so comments on the show. Okay, now the segment. We haven't done this one. It's called Live and Loco. Live and Loco. Oh, boy. The man's is a dish best served cold. You think about that. We haven't done this one in a while. Well, it's not so much a... It, this is about someone who is a bit loco. Martin Screlly. Haley from the Daily Haley and I once talked about Martin Screlly. We were just blown away about how he jacked up prices, medicine prices. People need this medicine that his company makes, and he jacked up the prices, and people can't afford it anymore. Kind of like the EpiPen people. But Twitter suspended Martin Screlly's account on Sunday following his trolling of freelance journalist Lauren Duca. After Duca wrote a widely read opinion piece for Teen Vogue in December called Donald Trump is Gaslighting America, Screlly started targeting her with jokes about his affection for her on Twitter, including a direct message he allegedly sent asking her to be his date to Trump's inauguration. This according to Business Insider and MSN. Twitter confirmed to Business Insider that Screlly's account suspension was related to his harassment of Duca and that he will have to change parts of his account if he appeals to have it reinstated. A Twitter spokesperson said, the Twitter rule prohibits targeted harassment and we will take action on accounts violating these policies. He uh, is a self-professed Trump supporter, first made headlines when a pharmaceutical company he founded called Turing raised the price of a life-saving AIDS drug by over five thousand percent a controversial decision that he then laughed about during his congressional testimony he also faces fraud charges for allegedly attempting to loot another pharmaceutical company he ran retrofin in 2014 on sunday morning duca tweeted a screenshot of screlly's account to twitter ceo jack dorsey screlly had photoshopped pictures of duca and made one of them his profile picture Part of his bio read, I have a small crush on at Lauren Duca. Hope she doesn't find out. He's an entitled creep and absolutely deserves to have his account suspended, perhaps indefinitely, Duca told BuzzFeed news reporter David Mack. This isn't the first time that Twitter has banned a famous figure for targeted harassment. In July of 2016, someone who we talked about recently, Mia Yananopoulos, permanently was banned 
uh, uh, for his tweets targeting SNL and Ghostbusters actress Leslie Jones. Mia Yiannopoulos is a bright, Breitbart editor and conservative provocateur who's, who's tour, he's going to be touring the uh, c- colleges in the upcoming months. So that should be interesting how that goes. In fact, he's going to film that for an upcoming project. And he's got some book out that he's been given uh, close to a million dollars to write. As we go outside a cafe anyway, where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. This spokesperson for Twitter said that people should be able to de- express diverse opinions and beliefs on Twitter, but no one deserves to be subjected to targeted abuse online. And our rules prohibit inciting or engaging in the targeted abuse or harassment of others. Next show, we are going to bring you to Madame Ruta Mega Valentino and Bison Bentley. And hopefully there are no leaks in your basement. Figuratively or literally. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.